ENJ Capital. Today's video will be about stock splits and reverse stock splits. What you need to know. So I was watching USO, United States Oil Fund, and recently they announced an 8 to 1 reverse stock split. What is a reverse stock split? A reverse stock split is when the company has a low price stock and they make it into a slightly higher price stock by reducing the number of shares available. So an 8 to 1 would mean if you had 8 shares of USO at $2, after this finalizes, you have one share at 16. Nothing changes in the company. The market cap is still the same as it was the previous day. It's just there's less shares available, but the shares available are just raised in price. You didn't gain 800% overnight. The value of your shares is still the same. It's just the price is different. If you had calls or puts on USO, nothing's changed. The option the option in the option chain will recalculate itself and everything will be even. It won't be just because you had calls for $3 and it's at 16 now, doesn't mean you it went through the roof. If you were in the money at $2, you'll be in the money at 16 and it will, you know, it will work itself out. Why would they do a reverse stock split? If you know about oil, oil's been going down a lot recently. USO was at $2 last time I checked. If it gets under $2, if it gets to $1, not only does it become a penny stock, but it becomes risk of being delisted off the exchanges. If a stock gets delisted off the exchanges, it's more difficult to buy and sell it. There's less liquidity, there's less eyes on that stock. So meaning less investors to invest in that stock. Penny, penny stocks aren't really seen as you know glorious investments. They're not seen as valuable or respected so for for a stock to get in that range it's been hurt for a while you have more of a chance of attracting investors with a higher price stock than a penny stock you know if you watch wolf of wall street many people think of penny stocks as wolf of wall street and just scammers and you know garage type of businesses it's seen as a bearish situation if the stock has been going down a lot and you have to do a reverse stock split, so you're not a penny stock, then obviously nothing's changed with the company. No management change. You know, they didn't cure cancer. They didn't stop the, the disease. But if people see a higher price on that stock, they'll give it a little bit more respect. That's just how it goes. Just like in clothing. If you see a higher price clothing, you think it's more valuable, just go to Walmart. This is Walmart closed right here. Now, a stock split is the exact opposite of a, a reverse stock split. So let's say it's a one for two stock split. You had one share of a company at $200. You may now have two shares at $100. And the reason why some companies would do a stock split is so if a company's price gets too high, less investors are willing to buy. Less investors are able to buy if it's higher priced. And if they cut it in half, that means the stock has more liquidity, more investors, more people can buy and sell, and more people can invest in your company. You know, if you have, is it easier to invest in a $100 stock or a $200 stock? 100. And now you can buy two shares at a 100 instead of one at 200. Simple. A lot of companies go through stock splits. Some of the best companies, Apple, has been through stock splits. If Apple never had a stock split, their their stock would be at like a thousand dollars. You know, I'm happy they do because, you know, you could buy at 150. You could, well, I bought at 150 years ago. At the time, if it was a thousand dollars, I would be a little bit more hesitant to buy at a thousand dollars, no matter how good the company is. And if it gets too high, less investors, less liquidity. That means less people are are able to buy it. That makes it more attractive to everyday investors. It turns people off to buy if the stock is too high or if it's too low. That middle price is good because on one side you say, okay, this stock is, you know, a decent price. It's not a penny stock. But you also think that the price has more room to grow in the future. So you're more willing to buy that stock. Stock splits are bullish. Reverse stock splits are bearish. There are a lot of stocks that haven't done a stock split. Amazon in particular. I wish Amazon would do a stock split. I would load up. Who knows? Some stocks just don't do it. Berkshire Hathaway. I don't think they ever done a stock split. They're at like 300k. Anj Capital. Like and subscribe.